Welcome back to Mr. Money Phone by Reviews, cell phones, iPods, and other electronic gadgets. Uh, today we're going to go over with you everything and anything you need to know about an ESN number. Uh, the things we're going to be going over, what exactly an ESN number is, what it stands for, where it can be located on your phone, and uh, lastly, uh, what it means to have a bad ESN. First, we're going to go over what an ESN number is. Uh, there's actually three different terms you can use, ESN, MEID, and IMEI numbers. Okay, an ESN number is an electronic serial number. It's given to uh, mobile devices and other electronic equipment. Basically a serial number for that piece of equipment to identify it. An MEID number is pretty much the same exact thing except slightly different terminology. It means mobile equipment identification. Lastly, I mentioned IMEI number. Similar to the MEID number, this is actually international mobile equipment identification. Okay, so, where is an ESN located? Very simple. On the majority of phones, it's actually located right behind your battery. You'll see I have a couple examples in front of us here. Let's just go through these one by one. I'll tell you the make and model, and then we'll go ahead and show you where the ESN number is. Let's take a look at a, uh, an HTC Vivid. You turn the phone around, you take off the back cover, and you'll see down at the bottom, you'll see some barcodes, and you can't really make that out, but if you can, you have a couple different numbers here. You have IMEI number, uh, you have an S slash N, which is a serial number, and a P slash N. Now, the uh, IMEI number is the mo number we're looking at, which is the top number there, if you could see that. Okay. Uh, this particular carrier for this phone is AT&T, as you can see in the top. Now, uh, the reason it has an IMEI number is because uh, AT&T is a GSM network. Now, uh, depending on the network you have, uh, you may have an ESN, MEID, or IMEI number. Okay, so we have a BlackBerry Bold. This is a BlackBerry Bold model number 9650, I believe. Uh, Blackberries are a little small. I hope I can get this on camera here. But the serial numbers are actually very small here. Now, BlackBerry has an MEID number. Now, you see MEID has uh, the letters DEC after it. They'll either have DEC or HEX. You'll see the ESN number has an HEX. Uh, it's just different identification numbers for the phone. Um, so that's, again, where to find it on the BlackBerry bulb. You just remove the back cover, remove the battery, and you'll see a barcode with a number. And again, most, if not all, Blackberries will have that same exact code behind the battery. Now we have here an LG, LG Dare. Okay, same exact thing, and you'll see it's getting a little repetitious. There's, like I said, there's not very many ways, uh, not very many places they'll put this ESN number. Okay, you'll see here down the bottom the LG. Uh, this one, I believe, is Verizon. You'll see it's an MEID number. Okay. Now, the majority of uh, MEID numbers will start with an A, have a, a several zeros after it. Uh, the ESN hex numbers will usually have the multiple digits. Okay, now lastly, you'll see I have an iPhone. Okay, now this phone's a little bit different. And if you do come across any other model phone that doesn't have a back cover that, you could be re that can be removed, you just need to turn on the phone. Okay, now, when the phone is on, you can go to the settings menu. And you go to general, I believe. And if I'm correct here, you can go to about. And there we go. We have a couple different things in the uh, about. Sometimes this will be in phone info. And not only uh, can this information be found uh, on this phone or other phones in this place, um, it can also be found on the phones that I just mentioned. Uh, any of these, these other three phones here. Uh, you can just go to the settings menu. You don't have to remove the battery. Uh, it should be, 90% of the time, it'll be in just a settings menu, phone info, or about, as you see here. Now, iPhones, you can't remove the back cover, as I mentioned, so this is the only place you could really find uh, either the serial number or the IMEI number. Okay, so if you could see that there. And that's where to locate the ESN number. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go over what a bad ESN number means. Now, if you have a bad ESN, 
Uh, it simply means that you can't activate the phone under that service provider. Sometimes you'll see, uh, see a great deal on a great phone that's in perfect condition, but they say it has a bad ESN number. Just be very cautious when looking at these phones. Um, it just means that for whatever reason, uh, the service provider uh, can no longer activate that phone. There are a couple different reasons they can no longer activate the phone. If the previous owner of the phone uh, doesn't pay their bill. What the uh, service provider does is they put a lock on the phone. So until that account is resolved, that phone can't be used. It can't even be given to a friend or sold to an individual for activation under that provider. Uh, there are only a couple of providers, or actually uh, there are several providers that lock ESNs. Now it's a matter of whether or not that provider actually tracks the ESN number or not. Uh, now if the network is a CDMA network, uh, then they most likely will track it. Uh, a couple of the CDMA providers are Sprint, Verizon, Boost Mobile, Virgin, uh, Metro PCS, Straight Talk. All those providers link your account to the ESN number. So in order to activate the phone, they have and track your ESN number. Now another reason an ESN may be bad is if it's reported lost or stolen. That ESN for that phone will permanently be locked. So whoever receives that phone, either steals it or finds it, won't be able to use it. Now the other type of networks are GSM networks. You'll have AT&T and T-Mobile fall under those categories where the ESN number is not tracked by the service provider. If you go into default into your account or you don't pay your bills, uh, the phone won't be affected in any way. That's just about it for the bad ESN. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to help you out. Just go ahead and uh, comment down below. Uh, if you like this video or want to share it, uh, you can go ahead and subscribe. You'll see the link for that up above. Uh, again, I hope, uh, hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much.